Hello, I'm Tom Stephan with Gould's Water Technology, and today we're going to do one of the tests out of the service manual, which is checking your cable. So we've tried to duplicate this setup here. We've got a 55-gallon drum full of water, and we're just going to use a length of cable. So this uh, GSS service manual, right, is using the Simpson 372. So it's based on the Simpson 372, which we'll look at. But we're also going to use a digital multimeter just to compare the two. We've got our 55 gallon drum full of water and we're just using a length of wire here. And this would be a length of three wire cable. So three leads plus our ground. And one of these has a, a neck, a cut in it. So let's take a look at the meter to see uh, what it looks like. So again, the service manual uses the Simpson 372. The first or second step is always the scale. So in this case, it says set it to R times 100K. All right, so what we always want to do is we want to clip the leads together and then adjust our scale here. We want to zero that out. So now we're ready to test. So one of the things we want to do is uh, we've got a metal barrel and it's full of water. So, you know, just like the instructions tell us, we're going to clip one lead to the barrel. And now we're going to check every lead. And let's take a look and see what happens to the meter. All right, so we're at uh, infinity, so which is um, a lot of resistance, right? Meaning that I have no connection between, in this case, my red lead um, and ground, right? So we're going to test every lead and we're going to see what happens um, or what does it look like on the on the meter when we see a cut or nick in the wire. So that is a red, uh, no movement there. Let's go to yellow. Again, no movement on the meter. And let's check green. Again, no movement. And so let's check the black. All right, so we see some movement on the needle. And again, this is measuring uh, ohms of resistance. And so if we look at that, it's pretty darn close to zero, indicating that you have no resistance between our two clips. So we're clipped on the black and on the barrel. So that tells us that there's a cut in that black wire and uh, that because of the fact that it's submerged in water, uh, it has contact with the steel barrel. So again, uh, no resistance, so I've got a short, right? So I've got a, a cut in that black wire. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to leave that on the black. And one of the things that the manual talks about is, you know, if, if you want to identify where that is, you know, you slowly lift that up and you're looking for the needle and where does that needle move? So I'm slowly lifting that out of the water and right about there, right? So if I'm able to look in the barrel, I can find out exactly where that is cut, where that's nicked. So now let's take a look at the digital multimeter. So let's do that same test, but we're just gonna check the black because we know that we've got a nick in the black wire. But we just wanna show what it looks like on a digital multimeter. So I'm measuring ohms, right, same thing. I've got my one lead connected to the barrel, and again, let's just go to the black. So I go to the black, and so I'm getting a value here. Right, so we're looking at 9, 10 K ohms, or 1,000 ohms, right? 
So indicating that there's an issue. But let's just do a comparison here. If we go on a lead without, um, without an issue, right? We know that the green wire is not nicked. So just for reference here, we can see that that's OL. And that's an open lead. So you have no connection between your two leads. Again, here one is on the green and the other is on the steel barrel. So again, let's just do that one more time to show what it looks like when there's an issue. Right, so sometimes the, it's, it's gonna move around a little bit, but clearly we can see we don't have an open, right? So we definitely still see that issue on the black wire here uh, with the multimeter. So let's do the same exact test using a insulation resistance tester that we have here with the Fluke 1587 digital multimeter. So uh, again, for comparative purposes, right? So we know the red is good, right? So let's take a look and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna press, hold, and release. And it gives me a value, it's 550 million ohms. And also a little symbol there indicating that this meter is maxed you know, at the 500 volt testing that it's defaulted to. So, you know, what does that mean? It means that I have a very large resistance value uh, between our red wire, right, and the steel tank, indicating that there is no connection, right? We have no, uh, it's not grounded. So, now we know the black is, is bad, but just for reference, what does that look like on your multimeter. So I'm just going to connect it to the black here and I'm going to press hold and release and see I got zero. All right, so I'm, I've got zero mega ohms. So I have no resistance. All right, again, I've got a short. So that's what a insulation resistance uh, meter will look like when you have a bad wire. Thanks for watching our video today. For additional information, go to ghouls.com.